This is NDTV and you're watching NDTV 24-7. Tell us how they wanted to take their little girl out in the sun to get ample amounts of vitamin D. And the little girl flatly said no because she said she didn't want to become tanned. Another viewer wrote to tell us that their daughter wanted to be fair just like Barbie. Are these stray instances or are we still so fixated about having lighter skin? Actor activists like Nandita Das have now got together to fight against such perception and their target is everyone in the beauty and fashion industry who are perpetuating this impression. Our audience, like every night, is divided and we'll be hearing from them in just a bit. But first, our pundits who will be guiding us through it all. We have, of course, Nandita Das, who is leading this campaign, Dark is Beautiful, joining us from Mumbai. And here in studio, taking the other side, someone who says that it's not true that the fair skin uh, is better, is perpetuated by beauty industry. That's designer Anand Bhushan. He'll be taking the other side. We'll be hearing from both our pundits in just a bit. But before we get to them, let's look at how far this obsession for fair skin has gone. At the fashion week that is on in the capital, there are more foreign models than Indian ones, even for Indian clothes. Take a look. You may be forgiven for thinking this fashion show is in New York and not New Delhi. Caucasian models are everywhere at the Delhi Couture Week and designers say they are only catering to a widespread demand. It's because we have been under this colonial hangover of uh, fair and lovely since uh, uh, British Raj. So uh, keeping that in mind, we need to uh, show it on uh, fair skins because this is more acceptable to the Indian public. Which means even if the clothes are quintessentially Indian, the models could be foreign. Other designers cite practical reasons for their apparent color bias. First most important reason is they're actually in much better shape than most Indian models. The Western clothing look better and are also carried better by the Western models. Clothing which doesn't get worn by the Indian girl, girls has to be worn confidently, casually and in an elegant manner on a runway. So you do need other girls to wear it and if the Europeans fit the bill then we have to go with that. But activists say these are just superficial excuses for the biases that exist in the industry. Be it fashion or films, actresses like Nandita Das have gone on record to say that even in the 21st century, film producers still associate darker skin with stereotypes. Often the directors would come and tell you, listen, this is a slightly upper class character. Do you mind making it a little bit fair? I hope you don't mind. And I said, please, are you telling me that only the lower classes women are dark. Which is why Das along with other women have got together to fight these stereotypes. They have taken on people like Shah Rukh Khan who endorse brands that lighten skin. Wanted fair complexion bright. Or the matrimonial ads that are on an eternal quest for fair brides. I am Over those with a Vitish complexion. Dark is beautiful. The campaigners aren't counting on such biases to end anytime soon, but they're determined to challenge the Indian myth about what's beautiful. In Mumbai with Rashmi Rajput, Pooja Dalwar for NDTV. So foreign models on Desi runway. Let's actually get our first talking point up. How will this new campaign, Dark is Beautiful, help? Let's, uh, to ask that, let's just go across to Nantha Das. How will it help uh, Nantha Das? Firstly, let me dispel one myth. Everybody thinks that I am the campaign and I've started it. Actually, Kavita Emanuel of uh, Women of Worth, there's an organization, she's the director. She wrote to me about it saying that, you know, we have this campaign and would you support it? This is a, 
issue by default in my life. I mean, I never started out saying, okay, I'm going to go around talking about it. But then in my work, in talks that I would give in colleges, invariably I would meet young girls who would say, how come you're so confident despite being dark? And um, I've been very fortunate that I wasn't sort of pressured with these complexes, but obviously it was all around us and we can't be blind to it. So that's how I got into it. I think the way these campaigns help is they trigger a conversation, a debate. People like you are doing programs on it. There are so many people who are writing to me, um, sharing their stories. In some ways, it's, a, it's cathartic for them. For some, it's a validation of their thoughts. Some, it's just giving some kind of a confidence. So I think every drop helps. I mean, no one campaign is going to change the mindset. It's and what far do you more think of this? I think... Um, what do you think of this fashion Sorry, show that they're reporting on today, uh, which is taking place today? And we'll hear from the designer just now where they're saying that we need, uh, we have foreign women because, well, it's aspirational. They look better, they're fitter. So that's why we have them wearing lehengas and cholis. What do you think of that? Well, I mean, you know, I don't want to sit on judgment and I want, don't want to say whether foreign women or Indian women or forget about foreign, I mean, even Indian women, there's always a choice for the fairer skin. We know that in various fields, not just where they're supposed to look good, but whether it's a receptionist in an office, whether it's an air hostess, you know, I mean, so many different fields where it's not even about your looks. Even there, the fair, fairer women are preferred. So, I mean, that, that's a choice they are making and that's why these kind of conversations and debates are important because it's not to say you are wrong and trying to pin people down because it's really, they are catering to a mindset. Whatever the demand is, it's like they are supplying because they are governed more by market forces. But it should be a, a, a reason why we should all be talking more about it and really dissecting it that what's the root, what can we do, how can we give women the confidence that they are, you know, they just need to be comfortable in their own skin and feel beautiful with whoever they are. So Anand, the other side, we are coming to you to ask, do you feel that the images that you are portraying and by casting you know, foreign women as the beauty, as the image of beauty, you are taking away confidence from Indian women who are darker? First of all, I would like to say that being a fashion designer, we are not social activists. We are not even following this. Fashion is a business tool that we need to realize. Uh, yes, it does come with, with its pros and cons. and. Uh, Corn being one of them, that this is being propagated. Mm -hmm. And uh, having said that, I would like to say that uh, fair skin model, as I said, is an aspir it has an aspirational value to it. Uh, we as Indian have been commissioned to believe that uh, we have a sort of a, a colonial hangover, as I said, where we believe that f uh, you know fair is fabulous and dark is doomed. And that is. Uh, so you're saying it's not your duty to change. It's that. not our duty to whether to preach whether this thing as. This we are using as a fashion tool, to put our ideas and concepts to the final consumer. Dark is doomed. <laughs> I just want Nandita to react to that. Before that, there's an example and a story, and I want you to tell Nandita and Anand and the rest of us over here your story of what was it like growing up. Uh, as a darker person, you're not that dark really, <laughs> in Delhi. Yes, so basically uh, while I was growing up throughout school life, I was called Kali Bangali, which was uh, tormenting at that point of time. I mean, imagine a, the plight of an eight-year-old being called Kali Bangali all the time. So yeah, so there was a point. Do you my think that they meant to hurt you? Uh, I think they were just, uh, they, they were... I, I think it was just their upbringing, you know, that's probably what they heard at, in school because, I mean, at home, because all those guys, all those girls, guys, they were all fair. So, if, you know. If people like, if designers like Anand were using fairer model of uh, more people who look like us, you and me, do you think that it would have, the boys would have taunted you less? N of course, because uh, uh, when Honey Singh came up with brown rung, it became like it was it was viral. Every guy wanted a brown girlfriend then. So yeah, of course it did. It so did, Anand, you are saying you are not social activist, but don't you? What do you make of her story? I, I think um, having said that, I mean I'm, I I'll really uh, sympathize with you by the whole term of Kali Bengali. But the thing is, the moment I put a fair skin model on the runway displaying, it becomes an insp uh, aspirational value for her, where she's been tormented throughout her life. She says. 
obviously there is some point which says this is much better than me is it looking much better than me subconsciously she will say yes okay and that acts as a selling point for designers where they have to challenge well, this, with that this thing. is really really controversial and that's where a second talking point goes. is it possible to change the mindset of people Nandita Das do you think it is I mean I want to believe it is I mean otherwise everything would have been just the way it is thousands of years ago of course we do change we do think some of us maybe think more than others or whatever but we of course mindset can be changed it may take years I just want to say that like uh, Anand Bhushan said that we all don't have to be social activist I don't see myself as a social activist I don't devote the kind of time and you know my entire life to social activism that many social activists do we just have to be conscious citizens we just have to be human beings to just look around and say that okay we want a world where everybody can you know not be discriminated there shouldn't be any prejudice everybody can be who they are celebrate who they are you know we don't have to feel ashamed or proud of something that we are just born with I don't have to you know this nose or this color or this hair or whatever it may be or even my religion or the nationality everything was a given yeah so why should anybody make me feel sort of smaller I, don't, do you I mean, I remember in my growing up, I there would be people who would say, oh, she's got nice features, but poor thing, she's dark, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So we've all suffered it, and uh, I just think that it's time that we actually question it. No, I absolutely agree with her, but this is not what exactly we're debating. The mm -hmm. debate is about whether the fashion and the beauty industry should be pinpointed in saying that you are responsible for dark people being, uh, you know, just being there and uh, not feeling good about themselves. The question is uh, really not that. Now the thing is why the whole, um, we, we, there are designers like me who use dark fed, uh, dark women for their uh, runway shows and everything. We put them, we put then, but then we have an uh, ethnic mix which is also there. Uh, Nandita, you wanted to come in here? No, um, I just wanted to say that nobody's pinpointing, in fact, any particular product or any particular industry. It's the representation of women all around. In fact, the root cause is not all of this, but the mindset in society. Yes. So just to make that point clear, but if these kind of, um, you know, whether it's advertising, whether it's the images that we see all around us, whether it's the models or whatever, if we keep reinforcing that stereotype, if we keep saying that there is a standardization of beauty and these are the parameters or you need to be all of this and anything outside is not acceptable, yeah. can you imagine the signal that you're giving to 90% of people in this country and especially young women who are dark? Actually, you're trying to tell them you're not good enough, you're not worth it, you are... You know, what's interesting Sorry, is that a lot of people that we are speaking to eh, are also saying that it's part of our culture. It's always been like that, that, you know, fair people have been seen as good. And you wanted to point something out, something contrary to that. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to tell that in our mythology, Indian mythology, you know, Draupadi was called the attractive one. And she had, apparently she had five husbands. So, you know, if she could be appreciated for her skin tone, then why can't we Indians appreciate each other? And you and said Krishna as well. Right? Yeah, Krishna uh, as well. And why can't we appreciate each other and judge on the basis of maybe a character, not on the basis of a tone, skin tone. That is, we get naturally. That's natural. Anand, doesn't this go against what... A lot of I'm not going to get into uh, stories exactly, mythological stories, but I mean we can get into why Draupadi had f uh, had fidel uh, fidelity issues, mm -hmm. you know, she had five husbands and yeah, she's she was bad, so thing. she was bad, no, so I'm not getting into that sort of a uh, tangent whether Draupadi was good or bad, but I'm just saying that uh, having, you know, if we have something where Draupadi is really beautiful and everything, which is there, and uh, but there are other gods that we have, like let's say uh, Durga or, Le or Lakshmi and everything. They've always been portrayed as fair women, which is there. So there, is, there has been a balance which is there. It really depends on how you perceive it more than anything else. Okay, now we also have some audience members from Chennai uh, where this campaign has all also been taking place. Uh, I just wanted to ask if they have the question ready. 
yeah i would like to ask this question like pose it saying that why do people you know have to uh, uh, keep like thinking about like uh, whether you have to be fair whether you have to be uh, dark or something i don't think it's needless to worry about it i uh, i am dark and i don't think so it's ever put me down in my life so i don't think so why do you want to drop your confidence level just because you're dark or something a skin is no matter it's beauty should be something from within not from your outer looks or something actually i want to say take- if you see in chennai most of them are dark uh, complexion and that's what many people even they make fun about and all that's what they do but i don't think so like if you see it's 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 the smartness or it's your uh, the way you uh, put okay. yourself and the way you show yourself that's more important than being dark or than being fair or something it's just a mentality of people because the, uh, as she said it's the way of like the advertisements and everything okay. the way they're showing like uh, you you want to be fair you have to be like this you uh, only if you're fair this uh, color will suit you i don't think so that's really so, much so that's important. very encouraging what, it's very encouraging that you don't bad. feel I, weighed uh, down by all these fans, images but let's just take it to kind of nandita das nandita uh, in your blog you actually talk about uh, how despite the fact that you know you're this uh, you, you know you have a certain amount of everyone knows you and you know you're not just anyone off the street but despite that even you get asked by producers sometimes or directors to perhaps lighten your skin uh, and so tell us about it obviously what she was the girl from chennai had a positive story that she doesn't get let it bog her down but if even people like you feel the pressure so well, of course um, i'm i'm glad that she doesn't feel that way and there are women who don't feel i mean i don't and i know many of my friends who don't but it's still a struggle i mean those who are able to rise above all the pressure it, but you have to work at it you have to remind yourself that yes it's so unimportant i am who i am by what i do what i think you know how i respond to things my whether it's my skills my talents my interests all that makes me not just the color of my skin but of course the world around you is constantly reminding i mean i walk into a store which would have some creams or cosmetics the first thing they would tell me we have a very good anti tan cream and i keep telling them i was born with the tan and i'm really fine with it anything that will even remotely make me fair i don't want to use it so okay. you know it's it or in a film they would say this is an upper upper class or a upper middle class character she's an educated girl so do you mind making your skin a little lighter i know you don't like to do that but so you know so there it's a class thing so if you're playing a woman from the slum or you're playing a village woman then of course you can be dark but if you are playing an educated urban woman like me or you or anybody then we are not supposed to be dark because that doesn't fit into the stereotype image of an urban upper class woman which has already been shown to us through all our films and television that they're all fair it's so interesting to see these kind of uh, you know you going through these experiences but well, let's take another question yeah like why in uh, movies movies good character is portrayed in fair complexion and evil character is portrayed in dark complexion i think that's just what she was talking about as well that she gets us yes go ahead uh, is uh, why you know pregnant okay. ladies you know used to get feed by uh, saffron and also that you know their babies uh, should you have fairer uh, in color why is that if you know she is supporting that nandita is this something which is sorry i didn't understand the well question. he was saying somebody here had a uh, you know question about the fact that isn't it deeply entrenched into our customs as well of you know pregnant women putting haldi or whatever so that the babies are fairer oh absolutely there are many such rituals if in fact in our hindi language we say rang saaf hai you know for fair it's saaf which means clean which means is the corollary like if you are if you are dark are you dirty exactly so this mindset is there so deep rooted that I, when i went to my pediatrician for my child the first thing he said do put him in the sun unlike other parents you know because they are all deficient in vitamin d people don't allow their children to play out in the sun because they'll get dark i mean the obsession is to absolutely maddening levels yes so let's take our third and last talking point over here does this all mean does it boil down to fact that are we as indians are we racist that's really what we are asking and anand does that are you saying in a way some of the things that you said that it's aspirational that we have a colonial hangover so does that mean we are also yes racist? i would say we are i am going to say this um, on national television that indians definitely are racist when it comes to skin color but that is uh, due to the reason that we have been 
seasoned to believe so. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my friend here had pointed out that why is the mm -hmm. bad person in movies always depicted as black, as the good person depicted fair? Um, we also need to, we can blame Disney for it because but as a kid... Is that true though? We have lots of vamps, uh, you know, who have, who are fair. So is that really true? But then, you know, again, you have your uh, stereotypical what is there. Like uh, That's why I said, you know, you could blame Disney for it, where you always say the Cinderella is always with a blue gown, with fair skin, with the golden hair. That is pretty, whereas the witch who's giving her the apple to eat is Which always Which is how Hollywood black. is, but I'm just saying, are we as Indians... We Indians are watching these. We are Indians are giving these fairy tales to our kids. Okay. And slowly and slowly, subconsciously, the kid is imbibing all these things. Okay, let's take a question. Go ahead with yours. Sir, I would like to talk in general. Uh, in Shakespeare saying, there's a saying that a flower from outside and a serpent from inside. So people should be judged according to the inner beauty, not the outer one. So these ads, you don't think that they, they are an encouragement against this view? I think if it's boosting your confidence, I think go ahead, use them, buy it, do whatever you want. Okay. If it really gets you out there and you can speak up, and get out your inner beauty, which is, uh, you know, which is there. Go ahead. W what's stopping you when to do it? It's nothing wrong. Let's not get judgmental about that. Okay, ask your question. Yeah. In many of her interviews, Bipasha Basu has said that when she came to the industry, she was rejected because of her complexion. So therefore, she had to work on her complexion to come into the industry. So Isn't that sad, Anand? Uh, See, it's definitely sad. But then you have to also realize that when we, the Indian cinema, which is there, is a beautiful fantasy that we go to watch for three <laughs> hours. I do not want to debate whether the person that I'm is an if it's an eyesore, which is there, and then we're debating on the fact that you know whether she's dark or she's fair. Let's just leave that aside. But can't you look know? for really beautiful models like Nandita give who me, are dark? Give, <laughs> if, if there is, there, there's so many of them. There's a Rani Mukherjee who's a dark skinned one who's a brilliant actress. There's Nandita, uh, Nandita out there who's absolutely gorgeous and they're doing a brilliant job of it. So let's But do you have know, to look harder. We definitely. And plus, there is a, a long time, there is going to be a really, really, really a uh, long passage of time that we have to see here where we actually will commission ourselves to believe such a thing. Till then, we have to accept this and we are going to uh, Okay, propagate. so to wrap up, Nandita, tell us, how do you see this changing? Sonia, Sonia the, the, there are so many actresses who started off, who, who if you see their first film and you see their films now, there is a shocking difference in their color of their skin. So I'm sure the pressure is so much that even if they've done their first film in their own skin with some makeup, the pressure has made them lighter and lighter and some of them are doing fairness skin ads. So I think there is enormous amount of pressure. We don't have to be social activists. All of us, if we do take a stand and say, look, you know, especially actors who are in prominent positions yes. uh, or people who are in public domain, if they took a stand about it and said, look, it's, it's immaterial, whether it's directors, whether it's producers, whether it's audiences, whether it's actors, we have to change these imageries. Otherwise, we are really sending out this signal to a large number of people that you are just not good enough. And yeah, I think and that's really, really not fair. And I really hope that people who are out no there, people like this young lady over here who talked about how she believer they hear what you're saying and they really get the right message that's it on agenda this evening we'll be back again on monday till then goodbye